Hey guys, Bugsy here. Um, I'm bringing to you an AFK build, is what I like to call it. I'm going to be running a turret with uh, converters and a, and a different perk project this time. So I went with a Car 4 rifle. It's a very uh, customizable rifle um, with long barrel, computer's compensator, accuracy boost, a competition foregrip. LED combo gadget, pro grip, thrust lower receiver, a car quad stack magazine, Seymour side, war torn stock, and an exotic receiver. For our secondary is uh, the pistol coming back in. Uh, it's important for you to have at least one weapon that can destroy shields very easily. Uh, you can either go behind them or shoot straight through them, like with this pistol. So I went with the 5.7 uh, anti uh, armor penetrating pistols. It has tin barrel, flash hider, accuracy boost, micro laser, extended mag, and the red dot sight. And we're gonna go with the melee electrical brass knuckles. Concussion grenade is always combined tactical vest. We got the sentry gun as our primary, I'm like a secondary. Crew chip as our perk deck, and perk deck is uh, very important in this one as well. So you're gonna be running with hostages and converters. Uh, this last thing over here. You and your crew will gain 6% max health and 12% stamina for each hostage up to four times. And it can be really nice, especially that you gain bonus health right here. Uh, you will gain 20% more uh, after this one. This is a damage reduction and this is a bonus health. It honestly stacks up quite a bit and it can help your team if you're playing with multiple players. It's a very nice thing to have. What I went with over here is uh, in Mastermind, we got the basic force friendship. Confident, Joker, Partners in Crime, and Hostage Taker both aced. Um, I went with Hostage Taker because once again you go with hostages, you have crew chief, so you want to have those hostages and as long as you have at least one hostage or a converted law enforcement, you will regen 4.5% health every 5 seconds, which is quite a bit if you think about it. We went with uh, Underdog Basic, a Resilience Transport Basic. Once again, that's only for bonus damage and moving bugs a little bit faster. Scavenger basic, we go to bullets from Aced, extra lead Aced, and fully loaded Aced. So here, if you need to get more ammo bugs, you can. Uh, the saw wouldn't be that useful, so to get to fully loaded, you have to get either saw massacre or extra lead, and extra lead is just gonna be more useful in the end. And bullet storm is also one very nice thing. If you have a teammate that has a grenade launcher or any weapon that does a lot of damage but has low ammo, for example, they can just refill their ammo and shoot for 15 seconds uh, without being able to deplete ammo. It's kind of like a dub double duration swan song if you think about it. Uh, moving on to technician, we got the steady grip basic and here are our sentry gun uh, skills. I didn't go for this one because once again you are the one destroying most of the shields so you don't really need uh, armor piercing rounds. Um, that's what I feel uh, like it's useful but you can go with engineering as well and get those uh, armor piercing rounds and what you would do is to, like set up turrets probably in the same place. You would have two armor piercing rounds and two normal rounds and they can just protect each other. Uh, we went with third low ace, sentry targeting package ace, eco sentry ace, jack of all trades, and tower defense all ace. That will give you four turrets. Obviously, the secondary uh, deployable. And here you got some accuracy increase and more ammunition, overall health increase. A uh, big thing about turrets is if you let them be by themselves, they will deplete ammo very fast. What happens is the ammo that you use to deploy a sentry gun is their health as well. So if you leave them unattended, instead of them deple uh, depleting ammo, they will get depleted by getting shot at. And you'll see it in a gameplay later on where I just left them unattended and 
they were just dying really fast because they were taking a lot of damage. Uh, under Ghost we got Dagger Cover and Parker. Obviously that's pretty much a must on any build. The additional movement speed is just very very useful. In a Fugitive we just went for 9 lives and Swan Song. Very very basic skill. I think if you don't have Infamy level for the Fugitive you would have to go with uh, running from death and then to Swan Song but I'm not sure. Maybe you can do it like that. We're gonna go right into the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy it. Good luck is all I will need. I can make sure a contract of mine places medical security. When you find yourself in a tight spot, there are a few things more important. My associates will see it done. My chosen associates will go to great lengths to make it. Excellent. Time to put it to the test.
portion of the proceeds is in transit. Enjoy your payday. I will be in.